morning. Right, so I am in Croatia. I'm battling jet lag. I'm in Croatia because it's the first team camp with my team for 2020, Israel Cycling Academy. Um, if you didn't know that, this could be seen as a Who Am I Riding For? Another Who Am I Riding For video. Um, and that is Israel Cycling Academy. So, yeah, we're here in Porek in Croatia for four days. This is not a training training camp. We are training, but this is where we get all the, the stuff done. We um, do like the kit fittings, the bike fits, the directors meetings, sorting out race programs, just everything, just the, all the admin. It's a good way of doing it because they're very much like training wise, ride when you can, but the focus is on just getting all the stuff done. And then tomorrow we go to Israel where we do a training camp. And I don't know what I am or I'm not allowed to show you really because it's all like, it's a bit of a gray area because it's. It's December. I, I'm, I'm still a Katusha Alperson rider. Uh, we go training, I'm in Katusha kit. Coming from the summer New Zealand, I didn't bring any winter clothes at all. And it's like zero, zero to 10 degrees in Croatia here at the moment. So I, I found out the guys at Katusha Sports Clothing. I said, have you got any winter kit you can just bring to camp for me? And they bought some of their new Merino kit. Um, so that I can test it as well, which is sick. We're on our new bikes. I can tell you that, I think. Um, we have our new bikes, and they're not canyons, they're factors, which is uh, for me, first time in, I've been on a canyon for six years now, so this is this is quite a big change. I've seen a TT bike, which it looks, it looks fine. I wanna know more about it, because there's some interesting things about it. And look kind of all I've got. I've just been walking around in my sort of personalized flip-flops and making sure uh, everyone knows that this is me. Yeah. It's just a lot of faces, you know, like Katusha, we had we had 24 guys to start with in 2019 that dropped down to sort of 2020 with uh, Marcel retiring and Boswell's concussion. And God, did you feel that? And when we'd run a triple race program, like for Welter, Canada and Tour of Britain, Hey, everyone's racing, everyone's racing. If you're sick, you're injured, everything, every, you have to go and sign on because we get fined otherwise. So um, it's here, we've got 30 riders and like tons more staff. And it's just, there are so many people. Um, I've never been, I guess I've not been part of, part of such a big setup since Team Sky, like Movistar, it was, the staff had been there forever. So it was, like, everything ran well, but Movistar ran on a smaller, a much smaller staff um, count than Sky did, but this this seems to be right back up again. So, so yeah, it's just been fun getting to know everyone. Everyone's there's a lot of excited guys that are coming up from sort of Conti or the Pro Conti Israel Cycling Academy to World Tour. There's um, Dan Martin, Andre's here, Andre Greipel. So obviously some two real big names, and there's us guys that made it across from Katusha they're here as well so some familiar faces also um, when I say us guys riders and staff so um, it's been fun yesterday I did a three hour ride that's all I had time for um, to the day before I didn't have much on so Matt and I went out for a four hour ride which he's going well he's going well and cafe stops cafes here only accept cash so we didn't stop and he's going well um, I'm rooming, he's gone to breakfast, I'm rooming with a young lad called Alex Catterford, a Canadian fellow, who's, who's pretty cool, he's very cool. You know, there's a few Canadians and Americans here and we just end up talking about Treg Live Strong Days and this time 10 years ago I was sat next to Radio Shack, Lance Armstrong, Levi Leipheimer and all of those guys in uh, Arizona embarking on a whole different journey, that was 10 years ago. Which is mad. So we had a there's a big email thread the other night from Reed McAlvin with Taylor Finney, uh, Tim Rowe, Ben King, and a lot of those guys that were, were on the team back then. And everyone's just like, "Wow, that was ten years ago. Hope you're all doing great." So that's real nice. Lifelong friends. We fly to Israel tomorrow, which means the mechanics need to pack up the bikes. Now I've met most of these mechanics for the first time, and. One of those things you learn as a 
Pro is actually, if you want to gain some watts, you have the mechanics on your side. So me delivering a wet and muddy bike at 5 p.m. that they then have to clean and pack up would not make them fond of me. And you need to have mechanics fond of you. I mean, it's just nice anyway, but uh, we ask, we, we ask a lot in the season and they, they work hard as well. So on side, need them on side. Grumpiest man in the pro peloton in his exquisite Danish jacket. What's up? I'm not grumpy at all. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I don't know. There's not a blogger on the block. Travis, what are you filming for? I'm trying to figure out how to work this thing. I don't even know what. Just press go normally. Yeah. You got sit there's the SD card in it? You know the Chinese own DJI? Yeah. They're looking yeah. at everyone, everything, all the time. They love it. Don't film me, man. <laughs> what have you got to hide, man? What Everything. are you hiding? What are you hiding? Everything. <laughs> Camera, do we have to sign a waiver or something? What, to be on the videos? No, yeah. oh, you're just, you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should start an Instagram account of Alex making the videos. You know what I mean? And it's just, that's all it is. What's up, boys? Yeah. Don't say that. Uh, oh, I literally just ruined right, everything I was about to do. <laughs> they weren't gonna know, so they're gonna start moving, <laughs> and off they go. <laughs> Hey, it's good, Rory. Where's your suitcase? Easy. On its way to London. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> handy, isn't it? EasyJet didn't account for. They booked 30 bikes, 30 suitcases, but they couldn't fit 30 bikes and 30 suitcases, so we're without bags until tomorrow evening. But we got bikes, we don't have kit. What should we do? Beer? Okay. Coffee for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. more coffee. <laughs> what I did find quite amusing yesterday actually is obviously we're all working out who's got what in terms of in their hand luggage and what they can ride with. And we're all like, oh, I've just got cycling shoes, I haven't got bib shorts or an undervest or jersey yet can't possibly ride and someone else is like I haven't even got cycling shoes so can't possibly ride either and it got me thinking you know like people cycle all the time without all this equipment us um, pretentious spoil and fussy pros are like oh if it's not perfect it's just it's inconceivable that we might actually cock a leg over a push bike and, and do anything with it with just going to take an, a, a rest day so yeah I mean the team's done a pretty amazing job under the circumstances to scrabble together enough kit for all of us in 12 hours and uh, make sure that we can all train so but yeah just thought it was quite funny oh pro bike riders we're a special special breed <laughs> Alex Catterford my roommate for Croatia and Israel. You're going road riding today because you have clothes. Yeah, I managed to find some friends who give me some clothes. Yeah. But is that your chamois? No. Whose chamois is it? It's my teammate from last year, Ben Paris. Oh! Oh! So it's an old you chamois. Sharing the chamois. Yeah. Touching, right. touching the balls. That's... Me, on the other hand, I'm going turbo training and we've been given a bit of kit just to ride in today. And all I can think of is that UK TV show, Stars in Their Eyes. And um, yeah, tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be the Israeli national champion. But yeah, so we're just gonna get a couple of hours on the turbo today. I've messaged my coach, I'm like, mate, give me some intervals. Cause just two hours of sitting there is painful. And Alex has given me a set of headphones. But yeah, our suitcase didn't turn up. And I realized what I bought with me, obviously important stuff, drone batteries, 
five pairs of trousers, no toothbrush, no underwear. Bought this camera though, that's real useful for when I want to brush my teeth. Um, maybe I can use the, uh, oh this might work, the floof. The floof. So yeah, I've been a logistical nightmare for the team I think, but no one remembers that day in December where you did two hours instead of four, but look at the view we've got. This is Tel Aviv. Glorious sunshine. Bad. Israeli national champ. Congratulations. Hi, Glory. Not Israeli national champ, don't want to talk to you. Another Israel national champ. Another Israel national champ. That could possibly be the Israel national champ, but we don't know. G, Israel national champ. James, also Israel national champ. I think we're actually going to do a race to see the real Israeli national Are we really? What, are we going to ride together or something? We also have a chance. Virtual race. Oh, I might win something for once. Det er Polly fra Snævemusikken. Ah, yes, what? Yeah, det er Polly fra Snævemusikken. That's, that's Danish for I don't know. You're not going to win anything with that. Anyway, 49-51, full 50-50. Did you win or James win? Overall, who got the most trophies? I finished third or fourth. You enjoyed that, didn't you? I really enjoyed it. Yeah. An old guy. Yeah. For an old guy, I actually enjoyed it, which it doesn't happen often. Did you feel like you had wound it up by the end of the two-hour session? No, I need another hour. <laughs> One more hour, and I would have had it. Just yeah. It took a bit of getting used to, didn't it? Yeah. Understanding the whole process. Yeah, yeah. Brought out the competitiveness in all of us, and we didn't win. I think James Pickley wins one and he's got one of these about a K from his house, so it's kind of biased. It's like us all going to the Molden 10. But you know, well done him. Win's a win. Just finished the ramp test and started off at four times four minutes, so 240, three. 17, 3, 97 for four minutes each. And then went up in one minute increments until you were done. And yeah, so it was 4.36, 4.70, it's five, then 5.15, and then 5.55. And I finished 5.15. I had ambitions of finishing 5.55, but I'd, I'd at that point run out of gears and it was a case of I'd have to, instead of, I'd have to, I, I would want to just sort of wrench it out, it was really like, sort of lean on it, but um, I had to lift my cadence and at that intensity when you're fairly flawed lifting your cadence to get the revs is, is more of a, a sprint rather than a sustained effort, so that kind of ended it, but. The important bits of the bit, it's not really, a ramp test is never about what you finish off at, that's just a, bragging rights whereas what we're really looking for think I think is sort of your threshold and how efficient you are with your breathing and your, your lactates and your watts so managed to avoid a ramp test for the last two years we didn't do them with Katusha they don't get any easier or any less unpleasant less unpleasant more pleasant double negative yeah anyway yeah, guys, so this is pretty much our, uh, our field for today. Uh, I sketched out a, a course uh, for us to, to build. If you try and follow the, the arrows, you can see it, it goes around and it comes back down here. There's a sand pit here. And we're going to use uh, little pieces of wood. Uh, gonna, we're going to stick it in the ground and then uh, run the line uh, along the course so we can create a proper cycle cross uh, signage. Once we have all the jobs done, we can go out and ride it. So I, uh, I look forward for it. Uh, the kids are looking forward for it, uh, to riding with you. Um, and I think that's going to make the course the best. A lot of people riding it. 
היום זה היום הראשון של המסקבלנו אופניים, והיום זה שאני עובד עם אמרו לי, אה, אופניים, אני לא כזה נורא, גם אני יכולה לעשות אופניים, כל אחד יכול, אבל אני לא רואה את הקושי, את הרמה, שאתה כן רוצה כאילו להצליח להעלות את העלייה הזאת, זה ממש קשה. So we're building a cyclocross track today for a youth school outside of Tel Aviv, which is pretty cool. And I did not, we didn't know we were doing this and I thought we were like saying hello to some school kids and having a look around, but I didn't realize manual labor was, was involved and I did not bring the correct footwear. I'm being laughed at by all the others, so it's a good start. What a beautiful man. Huh? What a beautiful man with his axe. No, no, I'm meant to be doing manual labor. And these guys need to actually pull their finger out and do something. Rick, come on. What you actually, you're supposed to play, you're I'm supposed working. to help? Well, there's, there's too many people. Get my rapping skills. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm focusing in on. Damn, you're a good rapper. Oh yeah, do you find that sexy? <laughs> the sexiest. Just look at that unroll. Oh yeah. Is there sound in your videos? <laughs> yes. Oh shit. Modern day Vanderpool. Yay. Racing? No. Why not? I don't have power anymore. But you are a professional? Are you a professional? Yeah, but the training was too hard for me this morning. So yeah. That's why. Five, four, go! Go, 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 go! Go! Go, 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 go! I'll wrap this up as my battery's running low, but it's been a pretty cool day. Four hours training this morning, couple of efforts up a climb, which like... <laughs> and then we built a cyclocross course this evening, which has been sick. Everyone seems to be enjoying it. This has been fun and it's brought us together as a team. Except for Mass. Mass is... Gee, he, he looks like Dexter. Serial killer from the series. Look at the sweat patches on Moody over there. <laughs> like, I hope he takes racing as seriously as he's taken this. I thought it would be a horrible day, but it actually turned out to be quite oh, nice. Grumpiest rider in the pro peloton. What happened to you on the ride today, Mass? I mean, you did some efforts, you rode on some wheels, you had a little lay down in the middle of the road. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. No, that never is. <laughs> anyway, team presentation tomorrow, which will be, which will be fun. It's going to be quite big, I think. Then I head back to New Zealand. Where are we, Jay? Uh, we're at the Holocaust Museum. I think now we're going to go see Gino Bartali Memorial before we get in the museum. So. Yeah. We uh, very much appreciate your coming here. My name is Malky Weisberg. I'm in charge of the visits and ceremonies. and. Again, it is very uh, much warming our hearts when we see a group of people that come together to pay homage to someone who means so much to the Jewish people and to Yad Vashem. And I'm speaking about Gino Bartali, which you'll hear more about in the museum. Righteous among the nations were non-Jews that risked their lives to save the lives of Jews who were in danger of being murdered. Your visit in the museum will give you something that I hope you will take with you for the rest of your lives. Today, we saw and saw the Holocaust Museum, which was eye-opening, really eye-opening. It was 
was uh, I thought I knew a fair bit and um, didn't even scratch the surface. So it's been a very different training camp. We've learned culturally, we've learned a lot, and um, it's been quite enlightening. Top tip, if you're trying to leave Israel, don't have your AA stamps in your passport because you get asked a lot of questions. Um, you have to basically explain bike racing, all of it. Time trials, road races, I talked about all of it. Uh, quite an ordeal, but yeah, I'm on the plane, we're on our way. And that brings to a close a pretty successful first training camp for the team. I'm heading back early because it's Chanel's admittance to the bar in two days and I can't thank Israel Cycling Academy enough for letting me uh, duck out of training camp early for it. I mean, I think all all of the uh, partners of athletes are there for your all of your moments and there's a lot of them and it's, so I knew I had to be there for the Chanel's run. Big day. Got yeah. your eyebrows done. Yeah. What did they do to them? Okay. Can't notice anything. Just make the time. And your hair got blonder. Who even are you? I am a woman of the court. Well, not yet. Solicitor and barrister. Uh, after 2 p.m. New bike day. Yeah, this is a new, uh, new design of bike bag. Super. It's got no wheels. But it's reinforced with all this tape. Take reinforced cardboard. It's this new. It's like carbon fiber, 